Libras! Welcome to your love reading for July 13th to the 21st for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So guys, I've seen in some of the comments section, I know I've got a lot of newbies, so I know a lot of you don't really know how I work or really how to interpret tarot readings as far as really understanding how energy flow works. I really encourage you to watch that link, or to watch the link. Yeah, just watch the link. Um, use the link below to uh, to gain an understanding of it. So, guys, I'm just gonna re I'm just gonna say this real quick. I guess in Libra video, I don't know why I'm doing it only for the Libra video. Maybe a lot of you are for also gonna be watching Libra. Um, but guys, these readings, yes, they're love readings, but that doesn't mean it has to only apply to your love life. It can also apply to family, your friends, your career, just your self growth. It can apply in many different ways because of the spectrum of love emotions. Essentially, every reading is a love reading to some extent, okay? So just know that. Um, also, guys, whatever I pick up message wise can be pertaining to you or someone that you're connected with energetically, someone in your energetic field, someone you talk to, someone you even think about. You don't, it doesn't even have to be about a person you even engage with in a physical way. Even if you just think about them or talk about them, that's energetically attaching to them. Okay. So know that as well. All right. And of course, messages can always be vice versa. So that being said, Libra, let's get into your meditative session that I did. Libra. I gotta be honest, I was feeling, I was feeling some heavy stuff, okay? I was feeling some heavy stuff. First thing, I was picking up on a group um, or an energy group, because again, this could pertain to you or someone you're connected with, where the co the confidence has been shaken, all right? The confidence has been shaken. It does feel a little bit like an ego hit, a little bit of loss of confidence, a loss of faith in oneself, really, um, and to be honest, it does feel, does feel a little bit depression-like. I know my words are very weird, right? Very weird today. Um, it feels a little depression-esque, okay? So for those going through that, just make sure that you're really tuning in to why you're feeling the way you're feeling and trying to check yourself on that, especially if you have a history with depression, okay? Um, and something that was really interesting to me, they showed me, like, you know how in the fall, like when the season fall comes, um, the leaves change color and then they they literally fall. <laughs> and then we go into winter. I actually saw the falling away of leaves, like a transition from fall to winter. And Libras, I feel like some of you, you or again, people you're connected with, are feeling the end of a harvest, the end of accomplishing abundance. And it's almost like a, God, how do I say this? It's almost like a downer. Right. It's like because moving into almost like a state of hi of hibernation, almost like a state of winter, which is very uh, it's always associated with hibernation, associated with a death process. Right. Like everything just kind of falls to sleep through through winter and a death phase because to be reborn through spring. Right. So some of you, I think, have had some success and now you're at the end, but not the end of your success. I'm not saying you're not no longer successful, but you've reached some milestones. You've accomplished some goals and now you're like, oh, that was really great. But now it's like the, the celebration is now over. You have what you have. It doesn't mean you don't have it anymore. You have it. But that thrill, that excitement of going after it and achieving it has already passed. So now you're in this state of, well, what's next for me? Well, what's next for me? What, what, what now? <laughs> what now? And I think it might be making you feel a little, again, I'm getting that depression energy. I just got to be honest. And this isn't for everybody. It's definitely not for everybody. But it's feeling very wintry. But you guys, you know, winter's not a bad thing. Winter energy is not a bad thing. It is a time to rest. It is a time to recover and start thinking about the next thing, which you are doing, but I feel like it's it's getting you kind of down. You're feeling a little down about it. You're feeling kind of like, this is not a fun place to be. But it can be. It totally can be, Libra. It all depends on what you make of it, okay? But definitely some of you, going back to that confidence has been shaken thing, I, I actually feel like it's... um. Those two messages that I gave you are very different, separate. Going back to the energy group that I tapped into where the confidence has been shaken. It's definitely because of people in your life. One person in particular. You know, oh, damn, I don't want to be picking up on this. I'm not predict predicting anything. This has already happened. I think some of you have experienced a passing or someone close to you has passed and it's kind of, I think it was very unexpected. 
I think it was unexpected and it has kind of shaken your confidence a little bit and you just need a little time. There's nothing wrong with that. You just need a little bit of time, okay, to deal with that. Others, I think you're you're coming to some truths about someone in your life and you're finding it upsetting. You're finding it upsetting because it's just and I'm getting that unexpected energy again because it's very unexpected. You you thought you thought better of this person. This person disappointed you. And Libra, I know, like when you guys are loyal, you're loyal right? You're very loyal. Um, and if you really don't see it coming, if it really catches you off guard, Libras can be really affected by that. People don't really realize that about Libras, but they can be. And I'm feeling a Libra group, or again, it could be vice versa, who are feeling this because they're learning some truths about someone that they really thought highly of. Can you, for some, it could even be a mentor. Wow. Yeah. For some, it could even be a mentor or a family figure. Family's feeling kind of strong. Could even be your partner, your romantic interest. Okay, but take that as it resonates because it's already happened. It's already happened. You're Now you're feeling the emotion of it and how to deal with it. All right? So let's go ahead and let's keep it moving. So we only had five cards come out in the pre-shuffle. So we have Emperor in Reverse, Aries Energy, Taurus Energy, Divine Masculine Energy. This could be a patriarchal figure, like a father figure, grandfather figure. It could be a boss, a CEO, um, a lawyer right? A lawyer or a judge, someone who has a lot of power and rank, someone who's also usually older, doesn't have to be though, doesn't have to be. With justice and reverse Libra energy, oh, come back, okay. Justice and reverse Libra energy with the eight of pentacles and reverse Virgo energy. Ooh. Libra, whoever this emperor is, I, I have this, I have a feeling they haven't been doing what they said they do, they would do. Very unproductive energy. For my very masculine, li masculine Libras, this could be, very well be your energy where it's like it's that depression kind of creeping up on you, right? Making you feeling a little unproductive, unable to focus, and, and you know that you should be doing it. You know you should be doing whatever work or focus or attention you need, you need to be engaged with, but you're having a really hard time doing it. That's definitely for my my people or people that you're connected with that are having a little bit of that depression energy because of something unexpected coming out about someone that you or this person cares about or losing someone, losing someone or having that like that crash after success. And again, I'm not saying you're not successful. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying you, you, you worked, you worked, you worked, you enjoyed the thrill and then you got there and you celebrate it. And then it's like, oh, that's over. I have what I have, but the celebration's over. The thrill is over. Now what? Now what? And some some are not dealing with that so well, okay, is, is what I'm getting. I'm also getting that someone just didn't work, just didn't work. Like someone just didn't work as hard as they should have on something. They didn't pay attention to something that they should have. And this is the group where I'm feeling Libras are coming into some knowledge about someone that you thought really highly of. They thought really highly of, and I, I keep getting this mentorship. I don't know what that's about. I keep getting mentorship. Um, you thought they were going to give you more time? Is that it? No, it's bigger than that. It's bigger than that. It's bigger than that. That It's going to be different for everybody, whoever's in that group, but that's, that's definitely what I'm getting for those who are very disappointed. It's just you're realizing that they don't work as hard as they, as they said they do, or they don't. It's like they don't do something they said they do basically. Whatever they said, not following through. Okay, not following through. Then we have a three of cups energy, Cancerian energy with the page of swords in reverse, okay? Ooh. Ooh. That celebration, right? That celebratory energy, that fun energy. The fact that you don't have it anymore, especially associated with that page of swords in reverse. Page of swords in reverse, um, can come in a lot of different flavors. It's usually my Lion card. Doesn't have to be. <laughs> Doesn't have to be. I just feel like the celebratory factor isn't what you thought it was. You worked so hard and you were so focused on it that you didn't, it didn't occur to you that there would be, not a void, how do I say that? That there would be something after, <laughs> right? Like a pause after to be like, oh, oh, the celebration is over. Because you were just so focused on getting there, right? You were just so focused on the path, so focused on the work, and then you got there, and then it was like, well, shit, now what? Now what do I do? You kind of feel like there's a little bit of an illusion. I'm also getting that for some of you, you feel like you're, um, 
your friends are not really your friends right three of cups can also be very much a social social circle card and with coupled jesus coupled with the page of swords in reverse it's feeling like your social group is not very supportive of you or that they just bull face, bull face lied to you right yeah we got your back we got your back libra sure sure yeah yeah totally totally and someone didn't show up someone didn't show up that's what i'm getting with that it's feeling very heavy libra very very heavy energy and like i said this is not going to be a reading for everybody because they are general readings i do get multiple messages for different groups like i say like i say in the in the in the link below in the link below in the video for the link below on how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer please watch that guys if you know, if you don't have a lot of experience watching tarot readings, or if you feel like you could expand your knowledge on that, it'll just help you understand tarot readings for not just me, but for other readers as well. All right. But let's get into this. Let's get further into this, Libra. Um, oh, you're working through some dark emotions, guys. I'm also getting a lot of disappointment. You just feel let down. You feel let down by the people in your life. Others, you, you're just feeling that that pause after success to where you know either try to strive for higher or you maintain you maintain and i think that's why some of you are struggling with that especially those where it's like you had a big win at work or you had a big promotion of some kind it's kind of like mm, i could strive for higher or i could just maintain but i don't really want to maintain right that's kind of what you guys are going through i don't really want to maintain i, I kind of want to shoot for higher but i don't know how and i don't know in what way right and you're that's bob oh geez and that's bothering you it's bothering you let's see what else we get sorry someone was touching my neck <laughs> any messages for libra regarding love july 13th to the 21st and those who lost someone because i definitely picked up on that where it's like that confidence has been shaken because you've you've lost someone you just gotta take the time to work through it okay Libra, I really feel like this is going to be a time period where you got to take a bit of a break for yourself to work through some of these emotions. Some of them feel very heavy, okay? And I'm getting a lot of solemn, solemn kind of energy. Any messages for Libra regarding love, July 13th to the 21st? Okay. Any messages for Libra regarding love? July 13th to the 21st. Ooh. Eight of Cups in reverse, Piscean energy with the Ten of Cups in reverse, more Piscean energy. There's a lot of water going on here, Libra. A lot of water. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm getting that depression again. For some of you, it's like your, your depression has returned for those who, who deal with chronic depression. Your depression has returned. Disappointments have resurfaced. And those who are really specifically struggling with disappointments around family and very, very close social circle that you really relied upon or that you felt really had your back and then you're finding out they don't, it's making it really hard for you to kind of move past this heaviness, okay? It's making it really hard for you because you, you really didn't expect it. You really didn't expect that, okay? Any other messages for Libra? Any... Very nice. I like it. Queen of Pentacles. Oh, focus. Queen of Pentacles. Capricorn energy could also be earth or water. I really love this energy, Libra. I feel like this is the energy you're trying to hold on to. You're trying to hold on to this energy. The Queen of Pentacles, if she would focus. Okay. The Queen of Pentacles is like the queen that does it all. I call I call her the multitasker queen. Uh, she basically runs the household. She nurtures. She works. Usually an entrepreneur doesn't have to be, uh, but she basically does it all. She does it all and she maintains a lot of grace in the process of it. Um, mm, Libra, I'm feeling this energy of people go to you. Like, oh, uh, some of you, the social circle is social circle or family members are disappointing you because it's almost like they put their problems on you. They come to you, they come to you, they come to you and they just unload their shit. They just unload their shit and it's like, okay. I can do it all, but I can't do all your shit too, <laughs> right? It's like some of you, I feel like, have refrained from saying that. Some of you need to say that. Some of you need to say that. And, I, and again, it's realizing, wow, they really don't have my back. It's really more like they want me to have their back all the time, which ain't cool. 
that's not cool but this is the energy that you're trying to maintain which i think is really nice libra i think that's really going to work for you it's also about grounding i'm getting a lot of grounding that's needed here libra especially for those who are really dealing with a lot of these heavy energies and heavy emotions around depression around loss around disappointment um, especially for those where you're in that low after your success going into that wintry kind of energy right but hey after winter comes spring right so just know that too just know that too but definitely some grounding is needed here libra let's see what else we got whoa 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 okay they really want to talk mm. any messages for libra any messages for libra regarding love july 13th to the 21st any messages for Libra regarding love, July 13th to the 21st? Okay. So I got three other cards out here. We have the Hermit in Reverse, Virgo Energy. I like seeing that. A lot of Earth all of a sudden. Oh, Queen of Cups in Reverse. Cancerian Energy could also be Pisces or Scorpio. Yep, Codependence. Mm-hmm. Codependence. Four of Pentacles in Reverse, Capricorn Energy. Yeah, Libra, this is you realizing that people are trying to depend on you way too much, way too much it, regarding, again, this codependent energy of like, I'll just go to Libra, I'll just go to Libra, I'll just talk to Libra, Libra will know the answer, Libra will have the answer, you know, it's it's very much like that, but the Four of Pentacles in reverse tells me that once you come out of this hermit mode, which is basically the major, right, to the Four of Swords, which is the rehab, the rest that we already kind of picked up on, right, in this wintry stage, it's okay to rest. It's okay to take care of yourself. Even if you're feeling like you got to do it all, take your time, right? Because being in that energy gives you the clarity on the kind of energies you've been dealing with with these people and gives you the clarity of, oh shit, that's who I've really been dealing with. That's what that person is really all about, right? And releasing that releasing that overall energy we do have the six of swords aquarian energy moving forward moving forward into calmer waters moving forward into more stability something that's just a hell of a lot more sane and calm for you okay about your inner peace okay i'm liking where this is going <laughs> i'm loving where this is going libra i really like it a lot um but before we get back to the good stuff let's go back to the beginning here let's go back to the beginning um, with this, for some, it's the return of that depression for those who struggle with depress depressing energies. Um, others, it's the heaviness of these emotions that are making it really hard for you to kind of keep it moving, right? Keeping it moving. Let's look at the Ten of Cups in reverse. See what that's about. Tell me about the Ten of Cups in reverse for Libra. And again, for those who lost someone, my condolences. I know that's really hard. But take your healing time, Okay. Tell me about Ten of Cups in Reverse for Libra regarding love, July 13th to the 21st. Tell me about Ten of Cups in Reverse for Libra regarding love, July 13th to the 21st. Tell me about Ten of Cups in Reverse for Libra regarding love. July 13th to the 21st. All right. Tell me about Ten of Cups in Reverse. For Libra regarding love. July 13th to the 21st. Tell me about Ten of Cups in Reverse. Interesting. We've got the Fool. Aries energy could also be Aquarius because this is a Uranus card. Oh, I love this. I love this energy, Libra. In the face of all of this, this is the energy you know you have to kind of switch on for yourself, right? Being able to have enough confidence and faith that no matter what step you take next, it's heading in the right direction, right? He's got the sun behind him there. There's happiness that can be had. Yeah, some of you are definitely fighting depression. Some of you are definitely fighting depression right now. You know you need to be the fool. You know you need to be the fool, but you're having a hard time. And I get it. Just take your time. You'll get there. You'll get there. Tell me about Ten of Cups in Reverse. For Libra regarding love. July 13th to the 21st. Tell me about the Ten of Cups in Reverse for Libra. Regarding love. July 13th to the 21st. Oh, yes. Ace of Swords to what? Truth and clarity. 
What did I say, guys? Take that rest so you can get the clarity you need. Oh, I love it. And once you get that clarity, you know you can move into happier times, even if you don't know where you're going, right? The Fool is about having the faith to walk into the unknown and knowing that things will be okay, knowing that it is going in the right direction because you have all the clarity you need. It's working through this depression for those who are struggling with that. And for those who are you're working through this disappointment, it's about getting to that state of rest and recovery to be able to heal and to shake it off, to shake it off and keep it moving. Let's see what else we get. It's going to take time, though. It's not going to be an overnight thing. So be patient with yourself. Tell me about Ten of Cups in reverse for Libra. Tell me about Ten of Cups in reverse for Libra regarding love, July 13th to the 21st. Tell me about Ten of Cups in reverse for Libra regarding love, July 13th to the 21st. Oh, that's it. Overall energy. Oh, yeah. Five of Swords in reverse. Venus and Aquarian energy. Having the strength to just not lash out at these people who've been disappointing you or these people who lied to you, people who don't have your back, right? It's a very low vibrational petty energy when this is upright, right? It's like tit for tat, tug of war, back and forth, stabbing people in the back, very petty shit. You're realizing you're above it. You're above these people who don't have your back, okay? And as much as it's disappointing you and as sad as it's making you, you're actually practicing forgiving them in order to heal, which is exact, which is basically one of the final steps of healing and of healing and moving on and moving past things and getting rid of baggage, right? Having the strength to forgive them for the for what they've done and who they are, so that you can gain the clarity and healing you need to move to just move forward. Again, even if you can't see where you're going, having the faith that it's in the right direction. Really love it. I really love it. So let's get into this energy. Again, realizing the codependence that people have placed on you, to you, attached to you, and how much it's really, honestly, it, it's how much it's really bothering you. Because Libra, like I said, some of you haven't realized it until now, but you're releasing that. You're releasing that, right? Which is really nice. You're totally releasing it. I almost don't feel the need to clarify any of these. I will clarify one, though. I will, because I can't help it. I'm just deciding which one. Let's do Hermit in Reverse. Let's do the Hermit in Reverse. I'm going to stick with this deck since we only had three cards come out. Tell me about the Hermit in Reverse for Libra regarding love. July 13th to the 21st. Tell me about the Hermit in Reverse for Libra regarding love. July 13th to the 21st. The Hermit in Reverse for Libra regarding love, July 13th to the 21st. Okay. Tell me about the Hermit in Reverse for Libra. Tell me about the Hermit in Reverse for Libra regarding love, July 13th. Page of Wands. Interesting. This is news. I'm getting news. News. News, news, news. Really strong. News. Interesting. I feel like this is news coming to you. Okay. So while you're in this resting mode, this winter mode, we'll just call it winter mode. You're, you're a bear for right now. Okay. You're a bear in winter for right now. Um, while you're in this hibernation, healing mode, resting mode, I feel like someone's going to say something. I don't. It's almost like they're going to give themselves away. Oh, I see. Okay. I, I think you might have told this person like, you know, I, I just need to be in a bubble right now or I just need to take a break. I just need some rest. Like maybe you actually asked for some alone time because I'm feeling like someone is coming across like, oh, Libra, I just got to tell you about my problems. Libra, 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 Libra. And you're going to be like, Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Didn't I just tell you I needed time? Didn't I just tell you I needed time? It's something like that. And Libra, I feel like I felt this for, with you before. This feels like a really, really, really familiar energy. I really feel like I've, I've felt this with you guys before sometime in the last few weeks. It could be a child of yours. It could very well be a child. Like, you know, maybe you're like, hey, just 
just give mommy, just give daddy some some peace and quiet for like a couple days or maybe a weekend or whatever. Or maybe you are trying to go away for a weekend to recover and heal whatever, whatever you got to work through. And it's the pestering, right? And I'm not saying children are pest. I'm not saying that. I am not saying children are pest. But it, it just makes you think like, wait a second. My needs matter. Do you know my needs matter? Do you know my needs matter? It's very much like that. My needs matter too, not just yours. They don't, again, they don't have to be your child, but it's that kind of energy. <laughs> yeah. Talking about the hermit in reverse for Libra regarding love, July 13th to the 21st. Telling about the hermit in reverse for Libra regarding love, July 13th to the 21st. Oh shit, that's it. Whoa. Overall energy for the Hermit universe, we have justice in reverse, Libra energy. Wow. Wow. If that doesn't say it all. Yeah, this is definitely going to be triggered by some communication while you're in this rest mode and recovery mode and your little self care mode to deal with these really heavy emotions, whether you just lost someone because you're grieving or whether your depression has returned for one reason or another, or you're coming into all this knowledge of all these disappointments about your social circle or your family. Either way, you're feeling incredibly disappointed and jilted. Some of you was even a mentor, and you're just needing some time. You're just needing some time. And then here comes this person. <laughs> Libra, 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 Libra. Here are all my problems. Dump on you. And you know it's wrong. You know it's wrong. Wow. But you realizing it, leads you to the, your next step of, uh, this is some shit I need to release. This is some shit I need to get away from, right? You're realizing that, which is good. I think that's really, really great. So Libra, all in all, I think this is ending in a really nice way. I know it starts off really heavy, but it seems like you're doing what you got to do for yourself, which is all you can do, right? It's all you should be doing. Um, let's pull some advice. <clears throat> let's pull some advice. Because your needs matter. You might even say that to this person or to many people. Some of you might say it to many people in the situation, especially if it's family related. My needs matter. I am important too. <laughs> wow. Any advice for Libra? Some of you, I think this is also a first realization of, wow, I really need to be practicing more self-care and putting up more boundaries, putting up more boundaries with people. Some of you, this is a first time realization. Any messages for Libra regarding this spread? Any messages or advice for Libra regarding this spread? Any messages for Libra regarding this spread? One more. These cards do not want to stay in my hands, guys. Any advice or messages for Libra regarding this spread? Oh, that was quick. Oh, I love it. Hawk spirit. Let spirit be your guide. 32 breaking down to a five. They're bringing, they're bringing the shaken confidence group back up to me with this one. It's okay to have your confidence shaken. It's going to happen. That's how, li that's how life works, right? Sometimes we're up, sometimes we're down. And in those down moments, it's about trying to do whatever we got to do for ourselves, take care of ourselves so we can get back up, right? And some of you relying on faith is a big part of that. This is causing some change in your life, Libra, especially with the energy of five. It's causing some change in your life and leaning on your guides, leaning on your faith will really help you with this. They are trying to guide you in the right direction. So just know that. They are trying to guide you in the right direction and they know you're going through a tough time. For those that this resonates with, they know you're going through a tough time. It's okay to lean on them, right? Hmm. And I know that a lot of you feel like you can't ask for help from people in your life because of what has just transpired, especially those where this is like a social social group or a family um, dynamic that's really left you disappointed, making you realize that they don't have your back. You feel like you don't have anyone you can trust or ask for support. So I get that. But your guides are there. Your guides are there. Let's see what else we get. Any other advice for Libra? Oh, nice. I love it. Any other advice for Libra regarding this spread? Yeah, this is a lesson learned for a lot of Libras here. This is a lesson learned. Any other advice for Libra regarding this spread? I'm also getting a strong mother energy too. Hold on. I'm getting a strong mother energy. <sighs> 
this mother energy, this is not going to be for all my Libras. Um, I'm feeling more this is actually for masculine Libras. Your mother, your mother or a maternal energy in your life is going to really surprise you. I actually feel like they're going to come in and support you a little bit here. Wow. Wow. Especially for those who might have lost their mother or lost a maternal energy. When I say maternal energy, they can be a mother without being your mother, right? Or they could, or you could see them as someone who could be very motherly, even if they don't have children. But this maternal energy, like I said, specifically for my masculine Libras, they don't have to be men. They're just masculine Libras. Um, this mother figure is going to really surprise you and I think going to really, really be there for you. Oh, I love that. Okay, let's move it on. The last two cards out. You ready? Oh, I love it. Don't you just love it? Panther spirit, reclaim your power with the energy of 44, a master number. I just heard ascend. I did just hear ascend. Some of you are going through an ascension process, maybe even finishing your ascension process here. Oh, and some of you are going to be triggered, especially for, oh, thank you. For those who lost someone, if it was a family member, specifically a patriarch or matriarch, be prepared for your abilities to kind of get enhanced, okay? Sometimes in families, when you lose the head of a family, a patriarch or a matriarch, their their energy, their abilities enhances the energetic network in their passing. And usually abilities get passed down and upgraded because of that through the rest of the family. So be prepared for that if you're in that situation. Anyway. And then Koala Spirit. Spirit has a plan with the energy of 35, breaking down to an eight. By the way, if you were to break down 44, yes, you would have two eights here, two eight vibrations leading to success, success, Libra and prosperity. So for those going through that lull of I worked so hard and I got what I wanted, but now what? You're going to have another peak. You're going to have another mountain to climb. All right, it's part of your blueprint. The koala spirit, that's literally my blueprint card. Blueprint, for those who don't know, it's literally the plan that you made for yourself before you got here, okay? And reclaiming your power with pan sp panther spirit is empowerment, and it's going to all be triggered by this. <laughs> it's going to all be triggered by this moment of you doing the shit you got to do for yourself, that self-care, and then that person that just won't respect your boundaries, that person that won't respect what you need for yourself is going to trigger all of this right? To kind of get more into an empowered mode of setting those boundaries in a healthy way. And it's helping you to learn some lessons here that you've been needing to learn. And it's all part of your plan. It's all part of your plan. Okay. So just know that with this person, whoever they are, because I do feel like it's just one person who's going to be triggering this for you. It could be many, but I feel like it's just the one. Um, it's almost going to turn on that, like, how do I say that? That fight mode that Libras have. I mean, Libras can get real, <laughs> I love Libras. I love you. I do. I really do. But you guys can get real feisty, right? It's kind of turning on the feistiness back on in you um, to do what you got to do for you, which is great. And then overall advice, we have make your dreams real. 56 breaking down to an 11. You can manifest whatever you want, Libra. Not to mention you do have your guides here helping you through this tough time because for some of you, it really is a really hard time, okay? But you have the power to manifest anything you want, really, at the end of the day and if you want more success if you want another mountain to climb start manifesting one start manifesting an opportunity to help provide that to you even if you don't know what it is yet and there's ways you can phrase it as far as your intention you know asking for it literally just exactly how i said it asking for an opportunity to come into your life for your next level of success for your next mountain your next your next big thing all right you can manifest that for yourself Especially those where you're like, I, I really want people I can trust and people that I can lean on. You can manifest that too. Okay. And I'm sorry for those who've been really disappointed with people who've been backstabbed by people, um, who've been lied to by people. Some of these were lies. Some of these were lies, especially for those where they had like that mentor. That's always very disappointing. I've been there. It's very disappointing. But anyway, Libra, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you guys found it very insightful and helpful. And don't forget to check out Patreon, Instagram, and Facebook, and I will see you guys later. Have a great night, Libra. Namaste.